Out of the darkness, the goddess of love, Venus, the morning star, the evening star. Venus is the solar system's brightest planet. Its spectacular yellow clouds reflect the sunlight. She's about the same size and gravity as Earth. But the Venus Express space probe is telling us these dazzling clouds are made of deadly sulfuric acid. That the planet's atmosphere is choked with carbon dioxide. an angry goddess. The air is noxious, the pressure unbearable, and it's hot, approaching 500 degrees Celsius. Stay too long and we'd be corroded, suffocated, crushed and baked. Nothing can survive here. Like this, it's a Soviet Venera robotic probe. Its heavy armor's been wrecked by the extreme atmosphere. So lovely from Earth. Up close, Venus is the sister from hell marked by thousands of volcanoes. All that carbon dioxide in this atmosphere is trapping the sun's heat. This is global warming gone wild. Before it took hold, maybe Venus was calm, more like her sister planet Earth. If that's true, this could be our planet's future. A future shaped by the sun. Before we can reach it, there's this, Mercury, the smallest planet in the solar system. Get too close to the sun, this is what happens. Temperatures swing wildly here. At night, it's minus 170 degrees. Come midday, it's 400 plus. Burnt, frozen and covered in scars. It seems Mercury had a violent past. The Messenger space probe is telling us something strange. For its size, this little planet has a powerful gravitational pull. It must be heavier than it looks. It's like a huge ball of iron covered with a thin veneer of rock, the core of what was once a much larger planet. So where's the rest of it? Maybe a stray planet slammed into Mercury, blasting away its outer layers to leave a planet that's almost entirely metal. <laughs> 